this is Tyler with T-Jack Survival. I have a whole bunch of field review videos of knives, but I don't have a lot of what I would call the tabletop review. So I'm gonna knock out a whole bunch of tabletop reviews to give you the specs and some close-ups of all of the knives that I demo. All right, stay tuned. feathers okay this guy right here is the on point tactical knife all right this is made by Kevin Reeves and I filmed with him a while ago uh, we were kind of in this same area when we were out filming and this is the knife that I got from it um, that video you can find on blade HQ it's the on point tactical knife review this is just a quick tabletop on this knife. Now, one thing that's, let's back up, let's start with the sheath. So the clip on this sheath, which is really, really cool, it'll change direction so I can carry it scout carry, I can have it in vertical carry, I can carry it on the other hand, upside down if I was so stupid as to want to do so, and it gives me a lot of options. One thing that I really like is it comes with a striker. This specific striker has magnesium in the back, now the way that you do that is you shave a big pile of magnesium down and then it has ferrocerium or a ferro rod in the front. What you'll then do is scrape that ferro into the magnesium and then magnesium ignites, igniting your kinder, kindling, I'm sorry, tinder, which then ignites the kindling, catches your sticks on fire. So I really like that it has that. Now it doesn't come with this little lanyard. I added the lanyard. It's just 550 cord tied in a diamond knot. If you want to know how to tie that diamond knot, go get the app. It's called Grog Knots, and it's it's super, super valuable. All sorts of square knots and other stuff that's more complicated than the square knot. Anyway, lots of options. So that comes with the sheath. That's really nice to have. It's a Kydex sheath. It's got a couple of holes here at the bottom, which gives you the ability to put some 550 cord in a big loop that you can put over your head, put your arm through, and carry it right there if you want, or you can carry it around the neck gives you quick access to the knife, whatever you wanna do. Lots of different ways that you can carry this knife. Uh, this knife is made by Tops. Tops came up with a lot of really ingenuitive ideas when it comes to the sheath. Normally there's a really cool knife out there and they made this horrible, stupid, worthless sheath and you're just like, why? That's the main reason why I learned how to make Kydex is because no one can seem to make a good sheath. However, they did very well with this one. So with this On Point Tactical, you can take the handle off and inside of it there's a little pocket you can you can put um, striker uh, kindling whatever you want I would put fishing gear in there personally just like a sinker a couple hooks and some line I think that's the most valuable bang for your buck in a micro type of environment because I'm decent at bow drills and hand drills and other stuff so I'm gonna get more valuable from a fishing kit than a fire kit that I already have or whatever all right so this has got a little bit of a tilted blade a little bit of a cant forward initially I wasn't too sure um, the very first time I saw this was at Kevin Reed's booth and he owns a company called on point tactical if I remember correctly it was at a prepper convention in Orem Utah don't quote me anyway I picked up the knife and I was like that's odd but I grabbed it and immediately thought man that fits my hand great um, when I talked to Kevin about why he designed it, he had a friend that had some sort of a muscular disorder. I do not recall which one. Um, and he, this friend had a hard time canting the blade forward all the time to get that leverage when they cut. So what he did is he held it in neutral position and created the blade with a forward cant all by itself. Then as he started to use the knife, which was originally made to assist a person with, with a muscular disorder, 
he thought, man, this just works really well. It fits my hand well and it functions well, which I tend to agree. Um, you can counter lever with this really nice. You can cut and shave with it forward. It's got a nice jimping right there for my thumb. Nice forward cant. You can run your finger right up the blade and do all of the skinning and gutting tasks that you would want with this type of a knife. Um, I know this is a high carbon steel. I do not recall that which high carbon steel it is. I think it's like 1080. Not sure. I'm gonna have to look that one up. I'll leave that in the comments. But either way, they coated it. That way, it protects the steel and it gives you much longer life for the steel. Um, one thing that's kind of cool that I like to do to some of my knives, I added this lanyard, and this too is a diamond knot. But I put a uh, Emerson Schmuckatelli bead on it. All right. That little dude is an Emerson Schmuckatelli bead. That way, because this is kind of a round knife handle, which is good because it's not going to create blisters as you pry and pry on things, but it's a little harder to draw it out of the sheath. So if your hand slips while drawing this out of the sheath, it's going to snag that Schmuckatelli bead and that diamond knot, and you'll still have control. The other thing, too, that I like is when I'm chopping, I can just grab a hold of just that and I have this rocking motion, okay? And this gives me the ability to chop at stuff and tear right through it just by holding on to that rotational joint right there. So that's a couple of additions that I've done to it. Um, it's still fairly new. I've used it quite a few times, but it's not really seeing the wear like I would have expected it to. Granted, I've got a lot of knives, so I haven't really put it through the paces like I would have liked, but my overall impressions of this are very, very positive. I can't really come up with a negative on this knife, to be honest with you. All right, so this is the On Point Tactical by Kevin Reeves. I'll leave a link in the bottom of where you can find this. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those in the comment sections below. Please hit the subscribe button, and thank you for watching T-Jack Survival.